In this lesson, we're going to take a look at pH and pOH. So to start with, we're going to take a look at the ion product constant of water, or the equilibrium expression, Kw. So water we saw can act as a Bronsted-Lowry acid or a base, which means that it can either accept a proton, an H, or it can donate an H. So pure water itself is considered to be a non-conductor, but because of self-ionization, there is a small amount of conductivity that exists. So if two water molecules combine together to create one hydronium and one hydroxide, we're gonna take a look at how much of a sample of water would end up doing undergoing that uh, self-ionization. So we can calculate the equilibrium constant. So that is the reaction from the slide before. So two water molecules becoming one hydronium ion and one hydroxide ion. So the KEQ expression is concentration of products over concentration of reactants and stoichiometry become our exponents. So because the concentration of pure water is constant, what we can do is move that over with the KEQ. And then because that is a constant, we can just say that KEQ times our water concentration is equal to KW or the equilibrium expression for water. So that then is just equal to the hydronium ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration. So if we have pure water at 25 degrees Celsius, the concentration of hydronium ion is going to be 1 times 10 to the negative 7 mole per liter, and hydroxide is going to be the same. And we're going to notice that this 7, which water is neutral, and on our pH scale, 7 is what neutral is, and we're going to talk about pOH and what that is shortly, but we'll see the tie-in with this as we move along. So the ion constant, ionization constant for water at 25 degrees Celsius is the concentration of hydronium times concentration of hydroxide ion, and that is 1, point 1 times 10 to the negative 7 squared, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So if something is acidic, so now we're not talking about pure water, if there's something else in there, for something to be acidic, the hydronium ion concentration needs to be greater than 1 times 10 to the negative 7 mole per liter, which is what it would be for a neutral solution, or the hydroxide ion concentration needs to be less than 1 times 10 to the negative 7 molar. The reverse of that is true for basic. So for something to be basic, we need to have less hydronium ion concentration than what we would have in pure water or more hydroxide ion concentration. And it's gonna be neutral if the hydronium and hydroxide ion concentrations are equal and are to each other and to one times 10 to the negative and seven mole per liter. So to calculate pH and pOH. So pH stands for power of the hydronium ion and pOH stands for power of the hydroxide ion. So pH is equal to negative log of the hydronium ion concentration and pOH is negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. pH and pOH together add up to 14, and so pOH is a reverse scale of pH. So zero on a pH scale is 14 on a pOH scale, and 14 on the pH scale is equal to zero on the pOH scale. To find the hydronium or hydroxide ion concentrations, we just do the reverse of our equations up here. So hydronium ion concentration is 10 to the exponent negative pH 
and hydroxide ion concentration is 10 to the exponent negative pOH. So here we see the pH scale, which we are used to from grade 9 and 10, and then the pOH is the reverse of that. So a 14 for pOH is something that is acidic. 7 is the exact same as with pH, so 7 plus 7 is 14, which is a relationship between pH and pOH. And a low pOH, so 0, is a high pH, so something that is basic. So our numbers here are reverse to our pH scale. So a few example questions of what this looks like. So if I have a concentration of hydroxide ions in blood, um, if the hydronium ion concentration is 4.3 times 10 to the negative 8 molar, and then is it acidic, basic, or neutral. So I know the hydronium ion concentration, 4.3 times 10 to the negative 8 molar. So to figure out if that is acidic, basic, or neutral, I can solve for the pH or the pOH, but what I have here is the hydronium ion concentration. So pH is equal to negative log of the hydronium ion which gives us 7.37 which is fairly neutral so it's very slightly basic because it's a little bit over 7 but it's not very far over 7. So that is pretty neutral, very slightly basic. So that answers the last question, but it also asks what the hydroxide ion concentration in blood is. And hydroxide ion concentration we can get from pOH. So 10 to the exponent negative pOH gives us the hydroxide ion concentration, but we don't have pOH yet. What we do have is pH, and we know that pH and pOH together equal 14. So pOH is 14 minus 7.37. So my hydroxide ion concentration then is 10 to the negative 6.63, which gives us a hydroxide ion concentration of 2.3 times 10 to the negative 7 molar. Okay, next question, find the hydronium ion concentration and hydroxide ion concentration in a 0.5 molar sulfuric acid solution. So sulfuric acid in water is going to dissociate, so I have my conjugate base and my conjugate acid. And I have a one-to-one -one relationship here for our sulfuric acid and the hydronium ion. And this is a strong acid because I have two hydrogens and four oxygens. So I have two more oxygens than hydrogen. So strong acid, which means full dissociation, which means that however many moles of sulfuric acid I have, that's how many moles of hydronium I have, which means my concentration is equal to 0 0.50 molar. So that's my hydronium ion concentration. To solve for my hydroxide ion concentration, hydroxide is 10 to the negative pOH. To find my pOH, I need my pH, which I can solve based on my hydronium ion concentration. So 
pH is equal to negative log of hydronium ion which is 0 0.301 so that is very acidic so pOH then is 14 subtract 0 0.301 which is 13.699 so now that I have that concentration or sorry that value the pOH 10 to the negative pOH then is 2.0 times 10 to the negative 14 mole per liter so I have a very low concentration of hydroxide ions which makes sense in an acidic solution. And last question, so pH of a sample of urine is measured to be 5.53. Calculate the pOH, the hydronium ion concentration, and hydroxide ion concentration. So pOH is equal to 14 subtract the pH. which is equal to 8.47. And from that, I can solve the hydroxide ion concentration. Which is 3.39 times 10 to the negative 9. And the hydronium ion concentration is equal to 10 to the negative pH, which was given in the question as 5 point, oops, 5, 3, which is equal to 2.95 times 10 to the negative 6. Practice questions are on page 390, numbers 9 to 12, and 392, numbers 13 to 16, and this is from the old textbook which there are files in the hub or they are in the slideshow as well.